Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. So well, today's video, we're gonna make an update about our catfish breeding and catfish farming. Do not skip this video because we will be giving to you some basic tips on how to propagate and how to raise this catfish to earn money. And yes, I believe that catfish raising is really a source of good income if we will just know the basic. And now I am going to tell you that the success of the catfish farming can be best achieved if we have the mud pond. Well, this is a good news for those operators who have this mud pond because mud pond can really help us make our work very easy and very quick to multiply this uh, catfish. Maybe you will ask Dexter, I don't have any mud pond and I would like to do this catfish farming. Will this be feasible? My answer is yes. But then, we have to do a lot of work. Number one, if you are going to raise your catfish here in the concrete tank, then you will have the regular segregation and sizing because they will really practice cannibalism. And those ones that will grow big will eat the other siblings very fast. They will consume it all. And this is what is actually happening right now. We are here in this concrete tank and we are actually raising some 1,000 catfish as our way of experimenting whether this will really grow very fast. This is just barely one month old and the thousands of catfish that we raised here was uh, reduced to even two dozens. And this is the learnings that I am going to share with you that they will really eat each other in the concrete tank. Well, in the mud pan, no problem because the area is big and the inferior sizes can just hide inside or under the mud. But this one, since they don't have any place to hide, then they will be devoured by the bigger ones. And you will see that there is really a big disparity in terms of size. There are really catfish that are now very big while the others are still very small so we will catch the shooter this is the shooter shooter is the term that we give to those catfish that will grow very fast and will become carnivorous you see that this is the big catfish and you will see that this one is very small see see the difference in size but this is just one month old and these are the reasons why I said that in the concrete tank, we will do the regular segregation and sizing. We have to catch them every now and then, and we will group together all that have the same sizes, and the inferior ones will also be grouped together in a separate tank. This is the reality in catfish farming. If we can address this one, of course, even though we don't have this mud pan, we can still become successful in catfish farming. But if you do have the mud pan or you have the place where to dig your mud pan, then please do it if you really would like to become serious about this catfish breeding. So now we will go to the farm and we will make a comparison because the half of the population for this batch were thrown in the mud pan and the other half were placed here. And I would conclude that this is a failure because out of the thousands, we can only see some dozens of catfish. So we will make a comparison. Of course, we will throw this one in the mud and we will also do some harvest of the bigger ones and then we will bring that here in the house for breeding. Come on, let's go. So guys, you will see that these catfish are actually bigger in size 
compared to the catfish that we have harvested in the concrete tank at the house. And this will give us the conclusion that mud pan really is best for the catfish. And we are going to harvest all this catfish right here and even in this pan in the next couple of weeks. And then we are going to empty the concrete tank that we use for conditioning of this catfish, the earlier batch. And we will bring all the catfish at the house because I have a buyer and shout out to Mr. Ryan Wee who is going to buy all the catfish that we are gonna harvest today. So you will witness that this uh, business of raising catfish uh, starts from the ability to breed and the ability of course to raise the baby catfish so that they will become big because though it is easy but there are really many things to observe and to do that if we, we are going to fail then all these efforts will just become a failure. So you will see that we have here adult catfish guys and we will select some breeders. Uh, these three big containers or concrete tanks are filled with catfish and we will just select some, some of them to become breeders and then we will sell all of them. And we will start draining now. Of course, we will ask our staff, come here. We will open the drain pipe and then we will drain all the water and then we will harvest all this fish and bring this right at home. So guys, we're now draining the water and some of the smaller ones are coming out. But there are, I think, more than 300 or 400 catfish that are there inside in this tank. And I hope that we can select some good breeders. All the rest that are not selected will be sold in the market. So you will see that this catfish farming is very easy to maintain because they will eat anything. They will even eat Azola. These catfish are really delicious. You can fry them, you can mix them with curry powder or cook them with curry powder and we also can make them adobo so these are actually the delicious delicacy in the provinces of Davao and Cotabato and I would like to promote this here in our province the Zamboanga Peninsula Thank <laughs> you. 
So we have finally drained all the water in this first tank and we have harvested more than 30 kilos. So they are really massive. And uh, in this tank, we expect to uh, harvest more than 50 kilos more. So I estimated this to roughly reach around uh, 100 kilos in just a matter of three to four months. And we, we just raised this in a very small mud pan right there and it gives us now good uh, harvest. And this is really great because this only entails a small capital. We don't spend too much about feeding all these catfish because they will eat some dead chickens. They will also eat this asola. They will also eat many uh, food like the, the pellet, everything. This catfish will eat and they're not that difficult to raise. So, we will sell this one and imagine if we have 100 kilos then we, we are selling this at 180 per kilo so we will be earning maybe 18,000 or more we are not sure but I, I believe that this will not go less than 20,000 And there is one big giant catfish that is really best for, you know, material for breeding. And I would like to uh, preserve this one. Imagine this is a giant catfish. And this weighs around more than a kilo. Maybe one and a half kilo. And this is big. See that? Very big, very huge. And that can give us many baby catfish. So guys, we have finally harvested. Actually, there are still a lot of catfish that are not yet uh, put inside the box. But we were able to weigh 135 kilos. And this is a big milestone for us. When we first had this ambition to farm catfish, we started from zero knowledge. And now we have good harvest. So the message that I would like to encourage you is perseverance. And do not stop thinking about achieving your dreams because these dreams are just around the corner. It's just within our reach. If we are going to persevere and we are going to be consistent and of course, trust in God. So these are the things that we can share with you so far. I hope you will be encouraged to like and share our videos. And if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos every three to five days only here at Dexter's World!